Alright guys, in today's video we are going to be playing some Red Dead Redemption 2. It has been a long time since we've played this game. I believe over six months. Let's see what we got here. This is Hosea. Hey Arthur, what are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it, they must have someone to sell it to. Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look. These are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well. I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere, if we can get in the middle of it. Yeah. Alright, so I want to make sure we got through the dialogue, so here we go. Look at these huge trees. Got people out here working. little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's at the house. Like other guy just jumps on the back. We'll All right. be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. The size of this house back then is just crazy. I mean it's still crazy, but One guy's following us on the mini-map. Oh, no, two of them. All three of them now. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought... Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh, relax. I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. It's funny because she was so well, against it. Business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. 
Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. <laughs> Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. Funny. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing, Jess. You'll know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. I'll say it, please. I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. Oh, jeez. Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Hey, what about you? You can't speak. You're turned idiot. Right. Broke poor Mammy's heart. Uh, there, there, Fenton. There, there. Don't get mad now. Trying to stay on the roads here, but obviously it's quite tough. Ooh, I just missed that rabbit. Quite tough carrying this uh, wagon with us. Not to mention the horses don't really go at a consistent speed. So it's kind of like, oh, move real fast and slow down. And it's like, well, if I was going at the same speed, I would have made that corner just fine. Yeah, cool. You want me to drive? Let's try to take the corner full speed still. Clear! I need the pass! All right, here we are. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> it's funny because I can't speak now. All right, pick up. I love these kind of miscellaneous missions where it's not just a shootout every time. Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello! Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys... How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Handed out liquor in the... Oh, behind the bar in the saloon. Okay. Oh, I gotta go this way. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free! 
The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put on Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor thing. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have one, this. A gift. Trying to get used to the controls here, I just saw it pop up quick. All right, raise bottle. Raise glass. Horrible. I have no idea what I'm doing. There we go. Pouring away. It's funny, he said a half hour now, it's nighttime. Hey, send a couple this way, will ya? Keep drinking! There's plenty more where that came from, and it's all free! Oh, wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> I only went out for milk. Drink up, folks, or you'll make friends mad. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You. Me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Gentlemen, we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, we only got pistols? All right. <laughs> Head off. There we go. Side of the head. Hey, hey, this way. You think we were behind you? Ah! I got so close to getting shot right in the head. Here we go. Whoa. Ooh, nice shot. Almost shot me though. I thought I had to reload, so that first shot was uh, me expecting to reload because you click once. Boom. Once a shot, and then once is the, uh, the bolt action, or not bolt action, uh, lever action. There we go. Oh wow, we're 
next to the screen. Probably all of them. Getting pretty close to our base. You see any more of them? Don't think so. Jeez, stole this over a few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Okay. Pull off the road here. Yeah. All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career in... What was it? Advertising. <laughs> Advertising. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Jose should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Alright guys, so that is the end of the mission. So... I... I was collecting... Uh, furs and stuff to upgrade the camp. I think this might be one of them. I also think the antlers over here, the moose, I don't know if they're called antlers, the rack, the moose rack, up there. I think there's a couple other ones, uh, the mats under these, can't really see them, but right under uncle here. So we got quite a few of them, but we got quite a few more to get still. So I'll probably do a little bit of that. We're still hoping to get some of the um, companion missions. Um, there's supposed to be one with Dutch, I remember, when he's smoking a cigar. Cigar. I was gonna say cigarette. Cigar outside of his camp, so 
Maybe now? Lenny and I raided a big old house in the swamps. Stole some guns. Good work. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot. Well hidden. So, nope, not right now. But I think you can only get it in certain chapters, chapters 2 to 4 or something like that. But yeah. Also, I think we got a couple of uh, heads of animals up there as well. So, we'll probably work on that here eventually. But it's been quite a while since I played this. I kind of, I had a, a list of missable things um, that I wanted to do. And I... I think I lost the list. Um, so yeah, I might... I mean, I, I don't... I would hate to miss a bunch of them, but... The list is so long that I don't remember which ones I've got, which ones I haven't, and... I don't know, we'll see. I might, I might just continue on playing without it and kind of say whatever. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.